Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And I want to talk about um, my observations about the year 2023. And I want to also talk about my view uh, on what uh, I'm looking uh, to happen in this year 2024. Uh, as we go into this season of, I believe it's going to be a great spiritual attack against those of us who are believers in Yeshua, uh, those of us that are trying to detach ourselves from the Babylonian mindset. And more so, I think it's going to be a very... Um, spiritual attack, you know, wrestling against uh, principalities, power. But we'll go into that later. We want to start off talking about uh, 2023. 2023 to me, one of the things that, um, you know, stood out to me was the fact of how quickly the uh, mandates for the CV-19, the, the talk of mass uh, job firings for people refusing to get the, uh, the, the jab, the, the scorpion bite. Uh, I was just amazed uh, of how quickly uh, that went away, especially as we started seeing these suddenly, uh, uh, sudden uh, deaths as we start seeing, which we could have got a prelude of that that time that 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 nurse in Tennessee was on the camera that time and they had gave her the jab scene and she passed out right there on the uh, in front of the cameras. To me, that was a a warning. You you can't get no more clear than that. But I was just amazed again in 2023, how quickly, you know, that went away where they was talking about people uh, uh, if they didn't get um, <clears throat> exemptions and all these things and then how all the need for exemptions went away and then they made it voluntarily. And then I started thinking about all of those people who had lost their employment, how they would be able to Get it back, and then even to the fact that in the latter part of 2023, a lot of uh, uh, service members that had got put out, they were being given the option of coming back in, and, and was and it was stated to them that you know we 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 you know not saying they were per se sorry, but that they you know basically were I guess revisiting their their expulsions and that they could get their um their discharges upgraded to uh, uh under honorable or even i guess honorable conditions and in the same breath they could also come back in if they wanted to but i think that was also a direct the correlation to the fact that once again in the year 2023 military recruitment across all uh, uh, services was down, uh, not just because of the, uh, I, I think the Jap scene, but just people just generally here in, in America, especially the youth are just, they're, they're just tired of war and they just didn't want to be part of, of that. And so again, they had to lower the standards uh, really low in in 2023. That's something that I I, I, I recognize along with, like I said, the 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 exemptions, uh, all of these different things that they have been you know touting. If you don't get it, you you're out. How all that went away, especially as they they I seen these unexpected and sudden deaths, which was a very big to me, not just because of the number. But just some of the prominent, you know, people that were dying suddenly, prominent people, not just, and I'm saying, you know, 
how I'm saying, I'm not saying that anybody is higher than anybody else, but I'm saying the prominence in the sense of their, their visibility, it was, you know, high profile people that were uh, not, not just dying, right? Some of them, but some were having issues with uh, uh, blood clots, uh, um, you know, um, arrhythmic, uh, heart arrhythmisms and all these different things. That to me was another big thing in the year 2023. Another thing in 2023 that was big to me um, was, you know, just seeing the uh, the, 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 the the immigration thing in the predominantly uh, Democratic cities that were being ran by Black Democratic mayors, just to see the flood of uh, immigrants into these cities for right or wrong. Um, and that you, you see that some of these mayors and, and, and you know, uh, people over these different townships, um, were crying out for help, you know, to get, deal with the influx of these people coming across, uh, uh, flooding across the border and they wasn't getting any help. And that kind of stood out to me in a sense of, we're living in a time where there's such a multiplicity of seeing these um, uh, young and some uh, older uh, black mayors in these, you know, uh, big cities, New York, Chicago, uh, L.A. And, uh, you know, just as, you know, hopefully they would be set to try to help their people, uh, all, all these people from all these countries that are being destabilized by a U.S. foreign policy come flooding uh, across the border and are being some, not all, because, you know, reports are coming out that not all of these uh, uh, um, immigrants that are coming into the, the, the these what they call sanctuary cities are being bust, but there's some of them are just making their way there because obviously, you want to go to the place of least resistance, right? Especially if you know that the state of Texas has a hostile uh, policy toward those that are coming to seek asylum or however they're coming over and how the, the this is being laid at the foot of a lot of these black politicians that, you know, for right or wrong, uh, um, you know, became uh, uh, elected to these positions for whatever reason that they had, whether they was in their mind thinking that it was going to help their people or maybe they had in their mind or they was told in their mind when they got elected that your primary mission now is not going to be for your people, but it's going to be for those people that we're sending in to be uh, replacements uh, uh, a la the, those that are coming from all these different countries that are coming here seeking asylum or seeking uh, a job. So that was just not something that really stood out to me and just the sheer numbers, especially as we got to the latter months of 2023, it was just incredible seeing some of the videos. Uh, it, was, it was even more amazing then uh, when you had those uh, coming in in 2022, uh, when you, you, know, you had that situation with the the 10,000 that were under that bridge that time, you know, and, you know, uh, it, 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 it's, it's just, it's just amazing to see the, 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 the human, uh, 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 movement coming, you know, at such a rapid pace. And it's almost like a, a, a mobilization of war in a sense of, you know, when you, when you, when you remember, the first Gulf War, and they had to mobilize so many hundreds of thousands of troops to go over to Iraq, right? And you just sometimes you will see these, you know, mobilizations of all these National Guard and and and, and um, uh, 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 Army Reserve units and um, uh, uh, regular Army units that were flooding into um, uh, uh, flooding into the Middle East because. You know, they said, you know, Saddam Hussein had a, a, a army of over a million people. So they was throwing everything but the kitchen sink and how quickly they mobilized 
uh, all of those troops and was able to amass them over there in those different countries in the Middle East and in Europe. It seems like the, the now, of course, we know that some of the immigrants, they have been moving from South America through Central America into Mexico and it's taken some of them some years. But even with that, it seemed like a how quickly they was able they have been able to get these hundreds of thousands of immigrants, almost like a mobilization of, OK, we got to get you in the queue. We got to get you through border uh, customs protections and all these things. We got to get you in almost like a like I said, a deployment. And when you understand that, like I said, some of these people that are coming over probably might have been part of their nation's armed forces, right? That, you know, hey, say, you know what? I'm not getting paid nothing as a soldier here. And I know this as a fact, because I, I, I talked about this years ago, that, you know, when I was in the Army Reserves, I was in, in a training unit. We used to go down to uh, Fort Jackson. And um, at that time, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan was going on and, they, you know, they was having recruitment problems even back then after all the, the surge and all the roadside bombs showing people, you know, contractors and people getting killed and terrorist attacks and all these things, they was having a problem recruiting. So the, the second Bush, uh, George W., he put out uh, he, he put into a, a policy, a, 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 a policy throughout all the armed forces that if you was a illegal immigrant and you join the armed forces, within three years, you and anyone in your family that you brought over will be citizens, of, will get their citizenship within three years of um, joining whatever branch of service that you was going to. Being. So this is not nothing new, this talk that they're talking about now that if they have immigrants that sign up for the military, that they'll get their citizenship. The only difference now is they're saying that if these immigrants who come here legally or illegally join the military, any branch, as far as I understand, that if they complete basic training, they will become citizens after they finish complete their basic training. I don't know about the advanced individual training which is where you learn your job but I, I i have heard that is after they finish the basic training part so the what we we see here now is that this is to me just a, a basically a a, a a a a a switch out that for whatever reason the the powers that be, which seems to be to be the the industry, seems to me to be the corporation, seem to me to be the social sciences and so, social psychologists and all these people that that are uh, feeding uh, sociology and demographics, talking about the population and the, and the thinking of Americans, where they're saying Americans basically don't want to do any manual labor or anything no more. You know that their minds have been you know, uh, turned on to the, the 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 ease of being able to work from home and they're not going to be able to get people to come back into the offices and they're not going to be able to get people to come and do some of the menial jobs. So that if that thinking of America is going that way, then we got to get a, a flood of untrained people. I mean, not all of them are untrained, of course, but if they're coming in here and they, you know, they, they, they at the whim of this country, even if they have a master's degree or whatever, they got to do what they got to do. We can get these people come in and do some of these uh, jobs, you know, that um, uh, Americans are saying coming out of the CV-19 that if you want me to come back to this, you're going to have to pay me like they're doing in California you, uh, for fast. Um, well, I don't think I don't know if it's fast food restaurants. I forgot. It's, it's got to. OK, I know what it is. They say if. If if it's a a a, a restaurant that has a uh, uh, brand of uh, re restaurants within other states, it's got to be like these big big um, restaurants like McDonald's, uh, Taco Bell, different different people like that, Young Foods like that. Then they gotta pay them twenty dollars an hour, and it don't matter if it's fast food or 
if it's a dine-in restaurant, if they got you know restaurants and, and hundreds of hundreds, hundreds and hundreds, or thousands of thousands of restaurants in, in, in other states that they gotta pay their workers twenty dollars an hour. So these corporations are looking at that. They're also looking at the fact that for years, Amazon workers, you know, which Amazon without Amazon, this this country would fall apart. Let's just be real, people. Stuff that you can you can get at the drop of the dime or whatever. They also look at the fact that you got a lot of Amazon workers throughout the country that want to unionize and get more of the profits of these billions that Jeff Bezos is pulling into himself and his board. They say, we want a slice of that pie, just like the Detroit car workers wanted a slice of the big four. And what did they end up doing to the big, the, the big four car companies, right? Slice them down and they, uh, um, they brought out a lot of uh, mechanized robots and different things to cut that down. And even there, now they, 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 they're, they're cutting it down more but the, the UAW, you know, got a pretty good deal this year. That was another thing I recognized. Like I said, union, union. The unions were really fighting hard this year because they understand with the announcement of this AI stuff, especially even the unions for the Hollywood that this year, I noticed how hard they fought because they're saying, and you could see it. You know, when you see some of these things out here, they have these actors' faces on them. And they have the, their voices talking. This is AI. And they're saying, man, we got to protect ourselves because they can make a movie using AI without us actually being. The unions have been working were working overtime in 2023 to try to protect their, their workers. Now, you know, they have got a bad rap for, you know, for, for rightfully so for a lot of things. But I can truly say that in 2023, they earned their money. And they've been able to stay off this thing with the AI, which is AI, you know, it's been out there for a couple of years, but 2023, it came on gangbusters where they basically said, look, this thing is here, it ain't going nowhere, and it's going to be multiplying astronomically the, the amount of things and, and, and jobs and things it's going to take over. So you see that coming with AI, and you see this flood of immigrants that's coming that can lower the rages of, you know, uh, uh, of, of some of the, the, the other jobs, not to mention they need it like states of Florida and all these other places where Ron DeSantis, you know, for silly Billy, uh, call some of the, the, those farmers uh, crops to, 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 to rot in the fields and stuff because they was pushing back so hard against the illegal immigrants. Right that will come and, and do the harvesting. So this is another reason why, like I said, I believe they're flooding the thing. And I, I, I will say that I'm, I'm, I, I believe that in this year, 2024, with all of them here, I believe it's going to be, going to be somebody that's going to come to the governor's mansion in, in, in Florida and, and pull Ron DeSantis aside and say, look, look, buddy, you got two, you got two choices. You can either, yeah, keep talking your rhetoric, but don't enforce what you're saying about the illegals coming here to Florida. Keep talking your rhetoric, but let them come in. Or two, um, if you if 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 Trump comes back and Trump um, uh, is somehow is able to keep from getting sent to jail, we might consider you his vice presidential candidate and pull you out of that the, the the Tallahassee because you 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 running amok with this 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 state and you're gonna just you're just gonna draw all our revenue with this uh thing of uh, to trash and all these uh historical facts that are facts not fiction facts we're gonna have to do something with you or the third you might have to take a long walk on a short period and by that you know what i'm saying that somebody you know they might say something about you know desantis suddenly and you know what i'm trying to say without saying it because i don't want a youtube algorithm to, to to send out a message to somebody and say that i was talking about to you know delete you on with which that's that, that wouldn't even be on my mind he he is set to do what the most high would have him to do in the state of Florida, maybe to get some of our people to wake up and to understand, hey, 
you you shouldn't be waiting for anybody to teach this stuff to your children. Anyway, you should teach it to them. And also you should look at the amount of money that is down there in Florida and the wealth want black people. Why don't you start your own schools, your own private schools, and don't have to worry about fighting against this madness anyway. But that's a story for another day. But 2023, that's some of the things that, you know, you know, dealing with the AI and the, 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 the like I said, the workers coming in. I definitely think in this year, 2024, uh, in a lot of those states that was pushing when it came to, like I said, the, 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 the Margaret farm workers and stuff, I think there's going to be some money on the hand that's going to be reached, but they're going to let some, they're going to push some out. But I believe that they're going to also secretly allow some of the state because they're going to say, look, we can't take another year of losses like we did in 2023. But because of this thing, y'all kept our migrant workers that come in here to pick the, the, the produce and stuff and let our stuff rot. We can't do that. So that's just my my observation. Also, in 2023, one of another thing that I um you know, really was uh, seeing out there was the weather. I mean, yes, in the last couple of years, it's been very, very, very horrific. Some of the things that have, you know, been, you know, see with the devastation of, uh, you know, earthquakes and, and all these different things. But in this, in the year 2023, you had that earthquake in Turkey that killed tens of thousands. You had that uh, earthquake in Morocco they killed over 10,000. You had that flood, in, uh, you had that, that dam in Libya, which because of the rain, it made that dam, which they said had not been worked on since before 2011 when Gaddafi was killed and it had been, get, been, it had been in disrepair. And finally, all that water that was converging on that one dam, it broke and it flooded and it killed Oh, I think that if, if what they are saying about 10,000 people, they said washed a lot of them into the, 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 the Mediterranean whose body would probably never be found again. That was just incredible to see in that little short span of time what the weather and what the, the, the nature did in the year of 2023. How, you know, just like that, tens of thousands of lives in such a short period of time were wiped away and this this brings true understanding of this thing when it talks about one fourth of the earth is going to be destroyed or one third or whatever and we're thinking it, it it could be like in a blink like at one time but who's to say it's going to be like that who's not to say that you're going to see instances where now because we're used to hearing ten thousand or twenty thousand dying at one time before you know it that one third will have crept up on us and it will be like um, in Egypt when the, the, the people came to Pharaoh and they said, um, Pharaoh, you need to listen to Moses. Don't you understand that we're all dead men, Pharaoh? You've been looking at, oh, OK, well, uh, yeah, we, passed, we we made it through that one plague. You know, no, Pharaoh, you don't understand the devastation that the previous plagues have already done to us. And you don't understand <laughs> It has been affecting us. And I'm trying to tell you this the same thing with 2023 that you were having that short period of time, 40, 50,000 people within a short period of time. Not to mention all the people that sometimes just naturally die where that, that's in the millions anyway. Just the normal course they say in America, it's sometimes it can be upwards to 100,000 or more people a year dying of cancer alone. Not to mention heart attacks and all these things. And then you add in all these sudden deaths, let's say unexpected deaths. Man, before you know it, it could be just like Egypt where he said, you know what? Uh, U.S. government, we're all dead men. Why do you think they might be bringing in all of these immigrants? Why do you think is that? When they this came out, what, in 2023 and said, the numbers of the people that have been dying from the opioid, from the, the, the trank and all these things is more than what we 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 uh we we we, we uh put out there. It's tens of thousands more that were dead dead than what we reported. And you're talking about within a year, they're saying 
it could be up to, uh, I think it was uh, 2023, if I could be correct, maybe maybe they announced it in 2023 for 2022 that the deaths from the opioid trank and all that was up to upwards close to 70,000 people in a year. And that's, like I said, what if that's underreported? So that now when they go back and do the count for 2023, who's to say? On top of the, 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 the unexpected, because some of those people that was out there, I'm pretty sure that they paid some of them some money to take that scorpion bite and say, hey, look, you want some money to go out and get you some, some cranks or trank or something? Come on in here and get this scorpion bite. And that's going to be some money for you right there. And like I said, they could come up with a number. Who's to say? It could be upwards to now 80,000 people that have overdosed and, and died. So this thing of, okay, well, we're just waiting for an angel to come with a big vow and he's going to wipe out one-fourth of the, the earth's population in one sweep. I don't believe that's how it's going to happen. I believe it's just like I said. I believe just like with Pharaoh. Oh, one, one player here, one player there, all of them add up. And before you know it, it's just like what they came to Pharaoh and they said, don't you understand that we are but dead men? And that could be one reason why that they're flooding this thing. Not that there's not people here, but a lot of they said the workers that are working now are my age, right? Which I can still work. I could work to I'll be a hundred. Yeah, I could do that. But Will I be as productive as somebody young? No, I probably won't. And so if you got all these young people that's out here, that's swearing off marriage, that's out here not wanting to have no children, that's out here using the morning after, that's fighting for the, the, the deletion of, the, the, of their, you got that going on and you got them dying of overdoses, right? And the population is not replicating itself, but you got all these older people. Why do you think you see some of these young women out here dating me and my age or marrying me and my age, which I'm not? That's just this is just my opinion. This is just my observation. I'm not in agreement. I, I think if you're young, you need to be with somebody that you can be with all your life and that they're not going to have a 30, 40 year jump on you in age and that's just my opinion. I'm not going to go into that. But why do you think you see that? And I think, again, that could be that the population is much more degraded than what we think it is. And that, and I'm not saying that they're fl flooding these immigrants in there because they're so concerned or whatever. I think it is a twofold. I think it is because, like I said, a lot of Americans are not taking that. And that was, that was brought out in 2023. A lot didn't want to. And so I think that's one reason. And also wages, definitely. They don't want to pay those kind of wages. So again, that's, that's one of the things that I've seen, the great the national disaster, the floods, the flooding, some of the stuff that was going on in, in China, some of the, the fires, again, some of the fires, not to seem to be that bad in California like it was, but in other places, right? That you've seen the, the, these fires and, and also... Um, also the, the, the heat, you know, this, the, 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 the heat in, 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 in the countries that traditionally, uh, during, during the summer was not used to these kinds of temperatures in Europe and in Alaska and all these places. And you just think about that scripture in revelations where he said the angel poured out his vial upon the sun and it scorched men and men blaspheme, right? And they did not repent. Of their murders, which gives me another thing that I observed in 2023, just the, the, the violence. Now, of course, the crime statistics of the FBI are saying that violent, quote unquote, they're saying now violent crimes are down. I don't know. You know, I can only see what I see on the news and what I see around here where I'm at that. OK, so you say that, but. I don't know. I don't know if somebody giving out the right statistics or what. I'm not sure because I do see some crazy stuff. I see some killings and deletions. To me, it just doesn't make any sense where, you know, somebody is going, like I said, the, the, the school. How many how many school shootings did they have in 2023? Again, it was just off the chain. And you see this stuff is just it's just crazy.
It just doesn't make any sense, right? You know, but this, yeah, just the amount of violence, right? The senseless violence that doesn't even make any sense in the year 2023. I'm sure you could go back in your local news and see some kinds of things. And a lot of it would be people that know each other, family members, friends, all kinds of things. Um, the, the amount of violence, crime, that's something that I really, you know, really shocked me about 2023, even to the point where, um, you know, I had, I had a family member, right, that was in store a couple of months ago. And uh, where there is these places around here, that satellite family, they called Dollar Generals, where they was in the back. And um, they um, was looking frontward and they seen a man holding a gun to the cashier's head, robbing. And they was in the back, but it was quiet. So whoever was robbing, they didn't hear them. So they had to remain real quiet so they wouldn't come back there and get them. But they're seeing this. And this is not too far from where they live that this kind of stuff is happening on a regular basis, sometimes because of drugs and sometimes because the next thing that is very, that you know, that I see evident in that I seen in 2023 was inflation, the amount, the prices of things. It was just skyrocket. It's just ridiculous when you look at the prices of things. Well, I understand back before the, CV-19, prices was getting out of hand back then. But now in comparison to 2019, and now they're just outrageous. Some some prices and stuff is just, uh, it, it's just crazy. The amount of money that things cost now. And so this is one of the things, I believe, direct location co correlation that has made this crime sometimes and this violence, right? And when you have a lot of crime and you have a lot of violence and people want to uh, 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 tune, tune out or whatever and they want to ease up, then you start having a, a lot of uh, 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 abuse, drug abuse, alcohol abuse. So I, that's, that's one of the things. And, that, and that, that in itself fuels violence. And so along with that inflation, right, of high prices of things is just outrageous comes that crime and all that stuff, but then also comes that, that, that drug abuse, which goes back to, like I said, the opioid crisis, the trank uh, uh, crisis and all these things, but also like the, 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 the casual, what they call the quote unquote casual drug use with um, uh, marijuana and, uh, you know, like I said, alcohol, which is the mainstay. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's off the charts because they even said during the CV that rates of alcoholism was going up. So I don't believe that because people was able to come out their houses that it went down, especially if they got addicted to that. I think that now it's just part of their life now, how they cope with different things cope with the, uh, and maybe from that, they might graduate onto the train, but then some will consider that to be socially acceptable now to use marijuana or alcohol or whatever. And so then you have, like I said, that with itself brings some crime and some violence because a lot of times people, when they're drunk or they high, they have their inhibitions is not as um, checked and therefore they not thinking rationally. So you have all this cocktail of stuff that was happening in 2023 that I believe not only led to a lot of the, the, the crime and the violence, but also also led to probably a lot of uh, family discord, dis, uh, divorces and other things, child abuse, uh, spouse abuse, all these kind of things that probably, you know, entails that. Another thing that I seen, you know, that was troubling in 2023 was the, um, in the religious, what you would consider the, the, the black religious world, um, just some of the, 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 the wicked stories that are, are coming out about abuse of, you know, members of, of, of these sanctuaries. You had this this story in 2023 of the uh, woman that was infected with the um, 
uh, H. It was it wasn't HIV. It was the other one that you can get that that is incurable by a prominent pastor. I think he was in Houston, and he had to pay out close to three million dollars. You know because you know this is incurable, and I'm sure this is not the only one that this man probably has infected. But also, that's one that's reported. But then you you see all these other little stories about abuse. Uh, and, and, and of course the big one with, uh, TD, which of course the allegations have not been proven, but allegedly certain things have come out and they're just waiting to break when, if that's going to be the things that was said in prophecy about him, look, I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath to see if that's going to be so or whatever. That don't even have to happen for me to know that. There's some crazy stuff going on over there, and it's always been crazy stuff that's been going on there in Dallas. That, that, that or not just that part of house, but any church that's affiliated with the part of house, there's always crazy stuff going uh, around. Just like with Eddie Long, his different churches that was affiliated with him, the crazy things that was going on in them. Give me one minute. I want to take a sip of my tea. Thank you. I've been drinking this medicinal tea to to help me with all this things, these variants they say is coming out, whatever it is, RSV, I don't know what it is. I do know that last year in 2023, something came on me and my family. They said it was that we tested for it. Now we were sick for a, a, a little while, you know, it was, you know, it, I admit it was, it was bad. It wasn't, but it wasn't nothing that I that we had to get um, hospitalized for. None of us had to get hospitalized, and they didn't give us any special medication, and we just had to let it spread out. But I think one of the direct reasons why it didn't do more damage is because I I drink my medicinal tea here uh, that my lovely wife makes for me. And I'm going to continue to do, do that. But, and also pray that I'll be counted, found worthy to escape the things that's already here. Because whether or not you believe it's from the Most High or it was in made you know, somewhere, either way, the Most High's hand is there somewhere. So ultimately, even if you got the scorpion bite, it would be wise for you to continue you to to still pray to the most high to protect you right i choose to use a tea and prayer right and so that's that's my commentary on that but yeah so yeah sickness yeah there's a lot of different sicknesses that uh they talked about that didn't take off like they thought they would um but I will say this, I do believe that there's something else big coming, whether it's going to be for the most high or for them, I don't know. But I think that people, you know, definitely need to work on their immune systems, definitely need to, you know, watch what you eat and drink going into this year, 2024, um, take charge of your own spiritual life in this year 2024 after seeing all that crazy stuff with all these churches and these assemblies and these synagogues and these mosques and all this you need to take charge of your own spiritual life did you see all the stuff that was going on last year did you see uh you you also need to stop one of the, another thing that i seen in 2023 that was, you know, again, it was eye opening was the revelation of of stuff. Now I understand I would anybody with any with two eyes could see all the crazy stuff that's been going on in the entertainment world, Hollywood, for years. So this should not be a shock. But I'm saying what was shocking though is just the ease of in 2023 where the, these these stars and all these was 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 speaking out against each other, revealing all these crazy secrets and all these things. And 
of course, the amazing situation with the settlement that P. Diddy did with that lady Cassie, what he gave her, had to get pay her close to $100 million just like that to keep her quiet. Wow. I was like, man, this is crazy. You understand? So, and I think there's a continuation of that going into this year. I don't think it's going to stop. I think it's going to continue on. And so, um, 2023, like I said, the, the, yeah, the, the school shootings, that was another thing. Just continue on. That was just almost a given every year, unfortunately, right? The school shootings. Um, so with that, we're going to talk about what I see with 2024. This is just my opinion. I, again, I think I, I see a continuation of the revelation of the Most High. Yah of not just these movie stars, these sports stars, these singers, these rappers, but continuation in the in the Eurocentric crush world, a church world, bro, black and white. I believe it's going to continue on. Uh, I, you know, um, I, I believe natural disasters. There's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a continuation, maybe on a, a larger scale. I don't know. Uh, you know, the, 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 like I said, with the, 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 the earthquake, the two earthquakes, the one in, in Turkey and Syria, the one in Morocco and the, the flood that was in, um, uh, uh, Libya, those were major. I expect something along that line or, you know, in this year, 2024, unfortunately, where I don't know. Could it be California? Could it be Oklahoma? They, they had some earthquakes in Oklahoma a few days ago. They had about seven. And one, they, they, they when they filmed it, which you could see the, the building shaking. So could it be those? I don't know. Could it be here in, 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 uh, in the east where the last major earthquake they had like that was that one back, I think it was 2011, that split the Washington Monument and took and it took them about two years to to redo it and I actually felt that one. I was in the office building and you could feel it rocking back and forth and that's like I said that's unusual for the East Coast. Could it be one on the East Coast? But they say if that happened, it would be way more major damage than the West Coast because none of the none of the structures here in the East Coast is built to cold for uh, earthquakes like that. Could it be? We, we we see the, the 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 thing that happened just here recently with that 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 storm that came in and did a lot of flooding, right? Did a lot of flooding in in South Carolina, all up and down the eastern seaboard. What could it be? We haven't had a real major hurricane like Katrina in a long time. Not saying that I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for this, but you just look at the pattern that, you know, every couple of years you will have something like this. It's been kind of quiet. It's been um, kind of quiet, like I said, with the, the, the earthquake. We, now, the forest fires has been a different story. Those seem to have, that you know, uh, you know, of course, died down after, you know, going for so long. But you, that's, that's always a great possibility with those forest fires. What more do I see? I see even more revelation of the um, revelation to nine people that just like what we seen uh, in New York City with the, the tunnel gate. I just I just use that word tunnel gate, which, you know, how they filled in the tunnel. Is it still there? Is it filled up with concrete? Who knows? But I don't think you heard the last of that. I think this is just going to be more revelation of who we are and who they are. I believe that. And that's, and, and the more that they tell people to stop talking about it, the more it's re revealed. And the more you see stuff like that tunnel gate stuff that happened in New York, the more people are going to investigate and say, is this the way y'all's people, those that say they're y'all people are supposed to act? Now, what that entails for us is that, yeah, every time we do something bad, they're going to put it on the news. So what we as people of Yah, right, his people, we're going to have to, we're we going to have to, you know, really repent and turn from our 
our ways and ask the Most High to purge the rebels from amongst us and tell, uh, tell him, remember your promise to Abraham, Isaac, and your cold father, come and see about your people. Now, I'll cut both Hebrew and Gentile, we, 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 you know, because remember they're grafted in, but we're talking about your, the natural branches that have been grafted back into the, the olive tree. Think about us. Think about that you said that one day you will, you will uh, bring us back into our land. Prepare us, Holy Father, to return back to our land. Prepare us for a exodus from all the lands that you scatter and disperse. Though those is willing, because all people are not going to be willing. Now, does that mean, as like I said, that we are on our own prematurely go get up and start zipping and going here? In, in my belief, I'm believing that the Holy Spirit is going to impart to each individual, and I think He's going to collectively, just like with this awakening, awaken us to to and, and give us some kind of impartation into our spirit what needs to be done but right now that's be led by the spirit right take a sip of my tea here ah great and so i'm gonna say another thing that i see in 2023 i mean 24 is Dealing with this uh, immigration thing, I think it's going to continue if the the Democrat uh, uh, Congress and uh, executive office perceive that they can't lock Trump up, that they can't slow up him as a minimum. Because especially now that you see that that stuff that's going on in Georgia with the with, with the, uh, the, the the DA uh, having a conflict of interest, and they might have to move the case to another county. I'm sure if they moved it out of Fulton County, they're going to move it to a county that is favorable to Trump. And if they move it there, then the judge could say, you know what? This is this is sovereign immunity. We throwing the case out and that we're not wasting the taxpayer money. They're starting all the way over to try to rush to get a judgment against Trump. Now that he still will have the charges that he got to deal with in New York, but if we see the pattern that they have done with the DA in Georgia, unfortunately, the, 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 the DA in New York and them other places, they better make sure that they got their skeletons buried deep, 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 because they're going to they're going to scrape them up. Now, again, like I said, I think you're going to see a continuation of the push to bring in. Now, of course, they're saying that some immigrants are now choosing to stay in Mexico because they don't want to go into the cities uh, now because it's cold. They don't want to be rushing into the United States and you got this cold snap and all this stuff going on. But I guarantee you when the springtime is going to be on, baby. And if the, and, and the lesson, there's been some kind of deal in Congress where the Speaker of the House, um, Mike, Mike, um, Mike Johnson, I think his name. Uh, uh, does the Democrats have the Senate? I can't sure. I think, I think, yeah, they, okay, yeah, the, the, the Democrats lost the House to the Republicans. I think they still have the Senate. That's what it is. They still have the Senate. The Republicans have the, the House. But Mike Johnson, he bring in a spending bill and say, look, you got to just put up some kind of front of slowing these immigrants up or, well, that or we are not going to um, fund anything that's going to help these democrat or any other city with taking care of these migrants but then what one must understand they still have a lot of money left over from covid that the the democrats are are reaching in and grabbing that like they just did in chicago to help some of these immigrants so i think it might slow down for a little bit but when it gets warm again on a constant basis they're going to be trying to rush them in here, baby. But before, if they proceed, that Trump might come back, you know, they're going to be rushing them in. And, and, and by the time, if he, if he, if he doesn't go to jail and if he gets reelected, which you, you do have some Republicans talking about Nikki Haley. If, 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 if even if he does, right, it, they probably might have brought in at least 2 million immigrants by that time. And then it would be almost impossible to ship them back. And then Trump probably, or whoever, if it was a Republican, would have to be 
do how the undoable task of signing off or making all them citizens and saying, okay, then we're gonna stop any further immigration into while we sort through these that's already here. But you know, I don't see it slowing down. But I also don't see the fact of a wholesale push in 2024 of our people voting Republican. I just don't, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But some of the policies and the, the talking points of the, I just don't think in a true blue African American in this country, descendant of, of, of slaves, could even hold their nose and say, you know, just because this one is going to stop immigration, but he's trying to do this, that, and the other, that I'm going to put him, I just don't, I don't see it. I do see some not voting at all, which some people say is the same difference. I don't know. You know, what's going to happen with all those immigrants? Do you not think some of, they're going to get some of them to vote illegally? I believe it's going to happen. I think it's going to be just like I heard someone on a uh, commentator say that they can get these mail-in ballots and get these aliens to do it. I think it, you're going to, there's going to be some portion of those that's coming in that's going to vote, that's going to maybe not be a major, but who knows for the state could, could be, I don't know. Um, I see again, uh, for our people, I, I think, we're going to see more and more of our people, our people wake up to who we are because of all these just crazy, ridiculous stuff that's going on in these churches. But I don't, I, I, I hope that a lot of them don't end up in some other heretical teachings because there's so much stuff going on out there that people are attacking the knowledge of who we are to a lot of occultic things. And our people are going off into it, going off into ancestor worship, going off into witchcraft, going off into astrology and all these different things and they're tacking it in. But again, this this is this is going to be brought about by a um, the, the, the rise again of the false prophet. And if there are ones that are either not born again or they don't are not operating in the spirit of discernment. That's going to be a wholesale drawing away of people who might have get their soul pierced aside. So that's his pray. Remember what I said. I do believe that on some of these some of these these channels that's teaching people who we are and different things. There are going to be people that's going to flood your your channels. That's going to flood in because they're going to want to know more about this. But that's not forget the preaching of salvation about being born again being saved being delivered from the wrath to come let's not forget that because remember what was the thing that kept a lot of the, our people from believing Yeshua because they said we're children of Abraham and what did Yeshua say say I can make of stones children of Abraham of these stones right so we gotta we gotta remember that, but we also got to also walk in the vocation where which we are called. And uh whether you got a YouTube channel, where you got out here, we got we got we got we gotta we gotta live this thing in front of both J uh, Yahudin and Gentile. We gotta live it. We gotta live it. If we gotta live as if Yeshua is already on this earth and we're ruling and reigning with him that's how we got to operate did paul not say do you not know that ye shall judge angels so let's start living as if and if you're a judge your character is supposed to be impeccable you are not supposed to be breaking the laws and different things that you're going to be judging angels on so you should not be breaking the laws of uh, 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 in, in, in dealing with in sexual things. You should not be breaking the law and lying and cheating and stealing. You should not be breaking the law in your marital vows. You should not be doing that if you're going to be judging angels because what did Yeshua say? He said, the prince of this world comes and he does not have nothing in me. If the prince of this world has something in you, you cannot be a judge now 
or a, in the world to come when Most High and His Son Yeshua come, and He comes back and He said, "Ye shall judge angels. You won't be in that crowd. You'll be out in the outer darkness, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth." So as these people come into this thing of who we are and everything that you need to point out all the, the craziness, the false doctrine stuff that they need to, excuse me, stay away from. Also tell main thing, you need to be born again. You need to be filled with the, the, the spirit so that you can test different things that comes your way. Nothing that I see, hopefully, in 2024 amongst our young people is more of a push for marriage uh that we need to see that black man black woman in within the same age range none of the you know understand what i'm saying i know some of you gonna probably write and say you you, you know you, you you totally out of line to talk about but I, I just believe that if, if the young people are young, they need to they need to be marrying somebody of that same age. I just that's just my belief. Right. I, 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 I want to see more of that. I want to see healthy, happy um, marriages amongst our black people, not just here, but worldwide. None of this polygamy, polygamy stuff, which is total hogwash. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about one man, one woman, as Yeshua stated it was in the beginning, right? And, and raising children in a healthy, happy household. I also uh, would like to see the end of the, um, the, the black man black versus black woman, passport bros, divestors. I would pray that just like... Um, Yah, um, with the, uh, the, 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 the demons in the, in the man in the gatherings, he had the legion in him and, 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 the, and the legion asked, you sure? He said, they said, have you counted the, uh, 12 minutes before the time? The Bible said that they asked him, can we go into the swine? And then the swine, when they got in the swine, they said the swine, went and ran violently over the cliff and drowned and choked in the deep. I pray that that's the case with some of these divester and these pastoral bros or channels that they, that their the spirit of them will be cast into a herd of swine and that the swine will go uh, uh, running violently over the cliff and drown in the deep or the abuso, which is the word in the Greek and abuso in mythology is supposed to be Tartarus where that's below hell. So you got hell, then you got Tartarus, which is below hell, which is where the fallen angels was at. That's why I wish some of these channels and some of these discussions and some of these talking points of these divestors and these passport bros, which is bringing great division and destruction to our people, would go running violently off the cliff and, and get uh, uh, choked in the swine in the abuso. That's what I hope will happen. That they, these channels will just start going away. That they would just dry up. And that, you know, if you want to go overseas, you want to live, don't, that, no, there will be no broadcasting of it, right? There will be, any, or if you got, if, the, if you, if you have a stream of income that's allowing you to go do all this craziness, that that stream of income will dry up. And you wouldn't be able to do that. Or if you did it, you would be able to, you would have to go to that country and you would have to stay there. And you wouldn't be able to move around and see how much you would love it then, right? But um, that's that's some of the things that I see in 2024 that I, I, I hope to see. Um, I also hope to see, again, you know, more of the clear cut, understanding from the most high of what what is transpiring for us as black people as pertaining to what is going to be our next move out of this this nation either collectively or as individuals because i believe as they have they're going to flood these immigrants in there are replacements whether or not our population has decreased 
I don't know because they're always lying about the numbers. They've been saying we've been 30, 13% for a long time. So I don't really know what the, the true population of who we are, whether it's more than the 40 or 50 a million that they say of us is in the country or is it less? We don't know. But what we do know is things are going to become increasingly difficult for us, no matter what a uh, political party is in power. The Democrats stay in party uh, in power. I don't think things is gonna uh, get better for us because it's just it's just simple mathematics. If the block politicians see that a lot of their constituency is is Hispanic and that they're gonna be the population of the future, they're just gonna concentrate on them and just kind of you know. They're just going to try to kick down the road, kick the can down the road on anything that their black constituents is going to say. And that's just the bottom line. We got to look at that. So I'm, I'm hoping that in 2024, that the most I guess us as black people here in America, are more, uh, uh, more uh, uh, understanding of what what is our future moving forward as individuals and collectively. So with that, I want to ask you um, this, you know, to pray to the most high, you know, you stays with, with us in, you know, the two, year 2024 and that we be, we, be uh, counted worthy to escape the things that's coming in this year 2024, but that also that we can still yet prosper. Those of us who believe in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and the blessings of Deuteronomy 28, that if you do certain things, he said you'd be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. You'd be blessed going in and blessed coming out. No matter what the circumstances is worldwide, he can keep you just like he did the three Hebrew teenage boys. So with that, I'm going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to ask you to leave a comment and I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Be blessed.